Down on the range now with our 850 pound bow and our bolts and our chronograph. Let's go. Hi, it's Todd of Todd's Workshop and Todd Cutler here. And today I'm back with my windlass crossbow, 850 pounds and a fistful of bolts, ranging from 60 grams through to 159 grams. These are all authentic historical weights for crossbow bolts for bows like this. Now I shot them for distance and I know that the angle was wrong. I'm gonna come back and we're gonna deal with that in another film. But I shot them for distance and you could see the difference between a 60 gram bolt and 159 gram bolt. Clearly, they didn't go nearly as far with these. But what we didn't find from that was what the energies were. So very simple film today. I'm gonna to put these bolts through a chronograph. We're gonna find out what the energies are and the momentum is of these bolts, you know, because that's just gonna put things into context. And the other thing that I'm gonna look at today is the string weight that is on the crossbow, the actual physical weight of the string. Because as I noted in that film, I think that the string I put on this windlass crossbow was a bit heavy. Maybe that made a difference to the distance it shot. So I've got a lighter one here. This one, for the record, 180 grams. The one in my hand here, 140 grams. So 40 grams difference, considerable. But the steel bow itself weighs 2.4 kilos. 2.4 kilos just for this spring here. And so when you shoot this, the bow itself is having to move that weight as well as the 140, 180 grams of the string. And after all of that, the 60 grams, 80 grams, 100 grams of the bolt. So the bolt actually, in that whole complex system of, of the spring moving forward, the bow moving forward, the bolt is actually a really minor part. So let's go shoot it, put it through a chrono, get the numbers, see what we've got. Down on the range now with our 850 pound bow and our bolts and our chronograph. Let's go. 60 gram needle bodkin, and these are all gonna be on the old string. 179 feet per second. 80 gram short bodkin. 167 feet per second. 93 gram short bodkin. 162 feet per second. Now the last is our crown bolt. 159 grams. It's a flying mace. Apparently used against animals. We're going to come back to that. I've actually got to pop my thumb on the end here. Just holds it down because it's so front heavy. 136 feet per second. And it is still stuck in the target. Let's zoom into that. So that crown bolt, all 21 mil diameter or 25 mil, whatever it is, still stuck in. I've got to go back to target and show you this. So this is a straw bar, straw target three inches, 80 millimetres thick of compacted straw. Tough. The crown bolt, well, it's not really in, but it's in, and that's 25 mil diameter on the head. And then look what we got on the back of the target here. 80 grams, 93 grams, and the 60 grams here. Pretty effective stuff, I think. But what we're gonna do now is go back to base. We're gonna swap the string over on the bow for a lighter one, just see what difference that makes, if anything. I don't think much, but you know, cards on the table, I don't know. I'm in the workshop now with my bow and my bow press for this. So this is what allows me to put the new strings on. So I'll just take it apart, show you how it's done. So it's relatively straightforward. I'm just tapping the wedges out now. That frees the bow. Now I'm gonna get the stirrup and the bow irons out of the way. And then a couple of cables here that it just hooks on. Now, although this is obviously a modern lash up, it's not actually that dissimilar to what they did before. So back in the day, they'd have a big table with a screw on the end, big turning handle, and they'd just crank it back like this with a similar kind of system with what's called a bastard string, actually, which is not swearing, YouTube. Um, it is, in the old use of the word, and it is what it is called, it means something which is not one thing or another. And, and so it is a string, it is a crossbow string, but it's not the one that you use for shooting the bow. It's the one that you use for actually stringing it. And then it's as simple as that. So now that's back down. I can pop it out. So it's actually, it's a relatively quick process. Getting that about central, we'll centralize it in a minute. And then the little anvil piece goes in. I've got a whole video on this actually about 
wedges and things and in fact on how to string bows as well so if you mine back in my channel in my less enthusiastic days you will find lots of stuff about this kind of thing and then you just tap it back up and that's it we're ready to go back out again so off we go with a string which is now 140 grams instead of 180 grams back with the lighter string now and the 60 gram bolt 177.6 80 gram 164 93 grams 154 159 grams thumb on the back of the bolt again 131 interesting numbers those officially this has just broken the laws of physics or something else has happened let's go talk about that i'm back at base now with my physics defying crossbow what the heck is going on with this because a lighter string of course it shoots the bolts faster we all know that but it didn't i think the answer is actually relatively simple this has got a very short draw length like all medieval crossbows did you know compared to a long bow so a very slight difference one or two millimeters in the brace height of the bow and that makes a very big difference to the performance of the overall system and so unbeknownst to me i tried to measure it but it's all a little bit approximate with these but unbeknownst to me this string's obviously just a little bit longer and that meant that the performance of the of the bolts dropped off a little bit they weren't quite so fast but the other thing that we've really learned about this is that with a 2.4 kilo bow and 140 180 gram string the actual weight of the string is just not that important to the whole system so that's one thing that we've learned so anyway the bottom line is I'm just going to go shooting with the heavy string, it'll last longer and it makes very little difference. Back to the real reason we're here, which is these four bolts, speeds, energies, momentum. There's your little close up, so we can see what we've got. Now, I'm going to put the data table up. You can draw your own conclusions, talk about it, please do. This is what I draw from it. The lightest one, yeah, it's pretty low down on the energy scales, you know, 90 joules. It's going to do you damage but as soon as you get up to this one 113 joules so significantly more momentum of 4.6 kilogram meters per second more than a nine mil parabolum round this is a serious bit of kit and the range is not an awful lot less than you know the lighter bolts so for me getting up to the 93 gram area that's definitely what you're really going to be looking at that's what you want but I'm sure medieval times, archers are going to be different. They're going to choose different things. You know, everyone has a preference. But this is the interesting beastie, of course. So, you know, the speed was much lower on 41 meters a second. The energy though, of course, because as we know, these things are sort of fairly inefficient in their energy transfer, but they can shift big weights, 137 joules. So this really does pack a punch. Momentum, 6.6 .6 kilogram meters per second. Again, 9mm parabolum bullet, around about 4. This kicks out some beef. What have I learnt today? Well, the first thing is that crossbow strings on a heavy military bow, whether they're light or whether they're heavy like this one, don't make that much difference to the performance. So we don't have to worry about that too much. Crown bolts, they don't go very far, but my goodness, they pack a punch. They really do. But they're not military so we're going to come back and look at them in a hunting context. We'll shoot some... Uh, lamb legs and some skin something like that see what it does then we have our three military bolts here ranging from 60 grams through to 93 grams there's not that much difference in the distance that they shoot although I will be coming back to look at distance again with different angles but what is relevant to them is the energy that they carry so this one carries significantly more energy and significantly more momentum than the lighter bolts not a great deal of difference in the distance they shoot there we are we're all learning on this one, but thank you very much and I'll see you again.